Hi, my name is Alex Buriak. I'm the Senior Vice President over here at Jet Lending. This video is going to go over how the math works when you're purchasing a property to hold for long-term or short-term rental, but there's no repairs. You're just making the purchase directly into 30-year loan from a DSCR loan. Now, first, let's go over what DSCR loans are. DSCR loans are a non-conventional way for people to hold property for 30-year terms. DSCR stands for Debt Service Coverage Ratio, okay? And what that means is you have a monthly payment, call it your mortgage. That's your principal, your interest, your taxes, your insurance, and any association dues is your monthly mortgage payment. When you're dealing in condos, make sure you pay quite attention to the association dues because this can really skew your values. So you got to make sure that you are aware of all these numbers and we'll help you calculate them for you. What a DSCR ratio is, is that monthly mortgage payment in relation to how much this property could rent for a month. So if you need a 1.2% debt service coverage ratio and your property mortgage was $1,000 a month, that means your property would have to rent or is rented for $1,200 a month to make a 1.2% ratio between the $1,200 and the $1,000. So that's how all these properties are based. The second variable on your interest rate in term would be your credit score. So your short-term loans, credit score is really not that big of a deal. But on your long-term loan, since you're going to be projected to hold this for 30 years, credit score is a variable. So you have to have at least a 650 credit score or somebody in your organization have a 650 credit score to close on these loans. All 30-year loans will have to be closed in a business entity. So get with your jet lending team if you know, don't have one yet, and we can direct you in the right area to figure out how you can get your uh, LLCs, corporations, incorporations, things like that to uh, be developed for you, okay? So let's take a look at the math so you have a better idea how these loans work so you can have an in-depth conversation with your jet lending team. So here's a sample loan estimator. I know it's very busy. I'm going to walk you through it so you have a better idea how this works. So let's say you're buying a property and it's worth about $177,000 as it is, but you're going to buy it for one sixty. dollars We're going to lend you 80% of the as-is value or the purchase price, whatever is less. So this property was evaluated at one seventy seven. dollars You're buying it at one sixty, dollars so I'm going to lend 80% of the one sixty dollars at closing. Okay, so if you, for any reason, were to buy this at one hundred and eighty thousand dollars and it's worth one seventy seven, we would lend eighty percent of the one seventy seven at closing, and you'd come up with the difference between one seventy seven and one eighty. But this person bought it at one sixty, so we did eighty percent of the one sixty. The projected rent on appraisal was one thousand six hundred and sixty five dollars a month. They got a 7.55% rate for 30 years. Their projected closing cost was $4,800, and they were coming out of pocket $23,200 at closing. Now, the hazard insurance was $1,248 a month. The property taxes were $1,080. So as you look on this side, it calculates all these things for you. So we were lending $141,600 at closing. This is a 1.4% DSCR, which is pretty high. Anything above 1.3 in single family is pretty high. Usually you see these numbers in multifamily. So it's a good DSCR. Um, they're cash flowing about $476 a month and making about a 31% return on value cash on cash. But here's the reason why people buy these. Because a lot of you were saying, well, this person got a 7.55% rate. I wouldn't do that. Well, I'm going to tell you why you should, because if you look at their net income over 30 years, this person at this rate, not saying that they refinance to a lower rate over uh, after five years or put in a portfolio or anything like that. After 30 years at 7.55%, the equity growth in this property is $477,900 if you use a 9% appreciation rate. The cash flow is $1,071. $71,381.49 for 30 years. Their estimated profits was $7,783,436.12.
This is how you become independently wealthy by holding these properties. So don't look at it as a, like a consumer on your rate. You got to look at things in profits. So that's why your jet lending team is here to help you make these videos and go through your business plan. So you're better understand how to buy these properties so you can work on your independent wealth journey. If you have questions about your specific business needs for buying one property or portfolio properties, give us our team a call, chat us on our website, let us go through what you're specifically trying to do. I hope this helped to answer some questions, but I really hope it started sparking more questions in your head so you can give us a call and figure out how we can tailor something specifically for you.